Live to tape from the Bellagio Cinema in Tampa, Florida, with your host, Andy Signor. He may have lost the fight, but he'll win the war. This is Nerd Wars. Expelliarmus! Ha ha! Welcome to a nerd war in Hogwarts. Actually, we're here in the Villaggio at a Nerd Bruce uh, trivia event, and we brought six of the biggest Harry Potter fans we could get here because I don't know Harry Potter like I should. I've seen the movies, but these guys are going to really bring the heat, and we are going to debate a very, very popular topic. Is Dumbledore a hero or a villain? There was a lot of debate before this started on which side they were going to stand on, and we're going to find out where they stand. We're going to find out who wins this fight. Let's meet Gil. Gil and Don, Pete, welcome. You guys are going to be on team. Dumbledore is a? Bad guy. Bad guy. Interesting. Yeah, not, a, not a good person. W quick one thought. He's just a really horrible guy. I mean, he's been completely inept his entire life. He's just lucky that he's really powerful. I mean, he's basically... I don't know, like the shack of, of magicians. He's not really good at anything, but he's just so freaking powerful that he just ends up being okay. <laughs> okay. That means Sarah, Ashley, Sam, you are going with Team Dumbledore is a? Hero. Hero. Quick thought. Why? Because he's awesome, and he just is the best intentioned person out there. All right, let's do it, guys. We have a, a theater here, a Fantastic Beast screenings that we're doing and trivia shows we're doing here at nerdbrew.com. Always check us out if you're in the Tampa area. Let's get started in the debate. Gil, I'm going to let you lead it. So let's just say the, the big bad in this universe, at least for the most part, has been big bad V, Voldemort. Dumbledore is directly the cause of Voldemort. He found him inside a orphanage, saw this kid had potential to be a great, great wizard, but there was something off about him. He had this sense of, of superiority and this, this little tinge of psychosis that instead of him just taking him to a psychiatrist, he took him to one of the, like, basically took him to make him a nuclear bomb. Like, there was no, like, oh, well, maybe this little kid who probably kills people for, for fun and giggles, maybe we shouldn't teach him how to do these crazy things. But no, he just took him there and then basically isolated him from everyone because he is very special. He's very powerful, very smart. But, again, Voldemort didn't actually stay with him. He didn't be the, the mentor that he should have been. And it's the same thing with Harry Potter. The entire time, he's like, oh, well, Harry, you're very special. I love you. But I'm not actually going to do anything for you. I'm just going to be standoffish. I'm going to be like that stepdad who doesn't really respect you, but I'm going to be there for you. Sarah, thoughts? Okay, so, right off the bat, I mean, he's, he, he has every good will towards Voldemort because he sees Tom Riddle as this potential for power and he believes in the good in people as heroes usually do. Everything he's done, he always has the best intentions of trying to help the world and help everybody that he knows. And he just tries to put together a life of encouragement. Now, he's not the best at it, but he tries to put people there who will give people that encourage me. Like Scotty Pittman. I can. Honestly, to me, it's easy. Uh, he's old, and he, there's, a, there's a song called A Boy Named Sue, and he, Richard Harris, as Dumbledore knew, he wasn't going to live through all seven books, um, and, he, and that Dumbledore was really old. He was going to die uh, at some point in time, probably just of plain old, old age. He needed Harry to, to grow up tough, and so he gave him, he put him in a a lot of very monitored, situa dangerous situations on his home turf. You don't think Dumbledore knows what's... He knows, you know those people banging on the Mr. Marauder's map in the bottom left corner? Yeah. He knows about that. He's watching that. He knows all of everything that happens in that castle. Um, he, it, it's his home ground. That's where Harry's safest, and he can kind of... He could have stepped safest? in, but he never had to. I mean, uh, PTSD. I mean, if you, if you listen to or read the stories that come afterwards, after... Uh, I don't know if they're fully canon, but it goes on to how Harry's not a well-functioning adult. You're not going to be a well-functioning adult if you spent the entirety of your childhood running away from the boogeyman. I mean, you're, you're basically going to be schizophrenic, and he's going to be seeing demons and ghosts everywhere. Because, if you recall, everyone in the freaking government was out to get him. When did he run away from the boogeyman? He literally I mean, Dementors are literally every... boogeyman. Yeah, okay, and he, he worked on finding a way to fight them. Seven? Seven. Seven times? Okay, the one thing I want to chime in here, you basically admit it, Dumbledore manipulates 
Harry Potter, as well as manipulate Voldemort. He's manipulating. The, he's a mastermind in the background. A successful adult. <laughs> <laughs> That's debatable. Uh, the fact of the matter is, uh, he is a mastermind uh, megalomaniac person just manipulating everything to his benefit and his needs you admit it uh, that he wants to uh, he saw something in Voldemort that to seek power and items he's he's he saw things going wrong with Voldemort as he's growing up and what he do just step aside he's like ah, I'm gonna let it happen he saw the evil that was happening and he just he, he could have stepped in and stopped it he did nothing he just let it happen. But you can't do that with everybody because Cerberus, Cerberus Snape had issues too and you know like the book and the spells that he came up with but he ended up being a good wizard in the end he treated him special like he did ha uh, harry harry was a, a special kid who was in all honesty fucking up he was doing things that he should have been doing and it was clear and in, in, in that case as the movies and books were showing but yet he's like oh i see something special in you harry why don't you come to my office harry and we will talk about it later well, you, know? you, could, you could also see that he was sitting there trying to prepare Harry because he knew pa Harry would have issues in his life being... That he Harry's started. A child. Harry's a child. Let's get this down right. It's like your principal saying, hey, I'm going to throw you in... I want you to go sell drugs because, you know, one day you're going to get out of this high school or this elementary school, what have you, and it's going to be hard knock life. But no, he's a child. He should be learning how to do, uh, like going into adult things, but not immediately facing the, the terrors and the horrors that he sees now. That was, that was, that was always going to happen because of Voldemort. Always? I mean, well, I mean, the night of Because of his of own doing, scar, though. Voldemort is directly the cause of Dumbledore and his, and his inability to actually be the father figure that he tries to be. He doesn't know how to do it. Imagine when you were born, like, all right. Putin Putin has like sends your parents a death wish, kills your whole family, right. and Is tries to kill you but fails. Someone else? And you're the, the person who runs your school is like, Well, I wanna help you. I'm but gonna try to protect you. Even though you. he created Putin? <laughs> He's like the Gorbachev. Uh, well, th maybe this is like some Illuminati school, because like, and you all the kids, all the really movers. Well, we're not allowed to talk the about the Illuminati right now. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't. Please don't shoot. Yeah, me. Is, is, is it okay to have child soldiers? Essentially, he's Dumbledore's army is basically a child militia. It's like you go to the Sudan, you have the same fucking shit. All right, guys. Bunch of little twelve year olds AK forty sevens. They're supposed to be holding Are lollipops. They, is Hogwarts uh, creating a child militia? <laughs> They can't always, Dumbledore and them can't always control what the children do. They can only guide them. Yeah, the kids did that on their own. Yeah. They have magic. <laughs> but it, <laughs> I mean, that's, li that's literally your go-to for anything is, are hey, you, I can't stop that. Are you, I have magic. Are you saying that if suddenly the governing body that controls you is suddenly somewhat tyrannical, you should do something? It's a school. You, you don't have rights in school, buddy. Uh, they all have guns. No, they, none of them have guns. They they have they have lit reducto blows a wall out. Yeah, they you don't have a the wand. Third year, they take your wand away. What are you gonna do? I, yes, you shouldn't they, even give them wands to begin with. I, I'm not arguing that. Should there be tougher wand laws? Yeah, that's a good question. There we go. <laughs> now we're talking. I'm. And it's, it's the same argument as Xavier and the Mutant Registration Act. It's, what are you gonna do with all these wizards that got all these? Well, powers? he brings a point. There are no wand laws. Uh, he is starting that around. What are, what are your what are your takes on that? There's still magical items and stuff that they could get a hold of. If they're magical items, there has to be magical things to stop them from being accessible. Right, so is he being responsible by giving the students all these superpowers? Fucking sledge, put it behind a door. It, all the, it, it's not him. They, they always do that. It's the tradition of that group. Now, you've seen oh, what happens when Harry, when they don't have them. Like, they just randomly get mad. Like, Harry just made a fat lady even fatter and fly wait, hey, uh, hey. in her house. Uh, Petunia, I believe. No, Petunia's... Petunia's Aunt Marge. Aunt Marge. Uh, and her awful dog. But it, he just accidentally did that. Like, they literally would just, just random but they can awful stifle stuff that Because they, as soon as you do magic without prompting at a young age, they know your ass. It's like GPS. Yeah, so they do have wizard laws. Yeah, but that's not Dumbledore. And you're only when you're in I know. fucking Dumbledore land, everything's go. That's what I'm saying. Dumbledore you get your never wand, gave any child a wand. There are people who rule over that. There's a whole but not Ministry though. of Magic Dumbledore, of that deals with yeah, that. Yeah, Dumbledore says, fuck you, I'm going to do whatever I want. You see this child militia? Don't touch it. You can't even come into his house. Wait, he didn't even know about 
about it in the beginning. He did. Mm. Oh, he's just talking about how he knew was everything. He has the freaking Marauders he, map. He, he knew about it. He watches fun. Harry. Well, he watches Harry the, like uh, I watches remember Harry. one scene like he's he watching Harry. Harry through like a like a little cauldron thing, and then uh, um and he exactly. <laughs> so he's aware of all the stuff that's going on. Yeah. It's his well, house. That's the thing. He, it was one of those things that he's like. I run my house. I run my security. I know what's going on. People come to him, and they go like, did you know? And he says, oh, no, yeah, I didn't. Really All right. Does. I've heard a lot of reasons as to why. Let's just get to the heart of it. What makes him a hero, and what makes him a villain? Guys, I need to hear from you guys first. What makes Dumbledore a hero? Um, he was play So he had to deal with politics. He had to deal with a lot of stuff. He can't just take the Elder Wand and go beat down Voldemort, because Voldemort wasn't just showing up. He had to beat him seven times. He got seven health bars, uh, seven, seven sequel video battle. games. Um, no, the uh, uh, he he knew every he was coming for Harry. He knew he couldn't always be there. He was a tough surrogate dad. As a boy named Sue, you named him that because he knew he couldn't raise him. Um, but he put him in the place where he could be the safest. He's got his best people: McGonagall, him, uh, huh. Flitwick. Hey, McGonagall took like. Did you watch the final movie? Like, she she beat him, beat like half of them back by herself. Battle Hogwarts. Um, he he was a he's. It's just a shitty situation because he had to play the politics of uh, of some weird no Voldemort doesn't exist and everyone knows that's true, um, and so that was the other thing why well, he couldn't just like uh, with the, while Dumbledore's army was going on the kid the child militia he couldn't just kick Umbridge out because he had the entire he would have the entire government shut his whole school down and then push Harry back out to some what well, the the Bulgarian school with the the um, Durmstrang the Durmstrang with the the morally questionable. W uh, ways to win, which admittedly may have taught uh, Harry a little bit better, but that's not the question. He was a good person. Was he was the best person? Nah, that's not what I'm arguing tonight. All of his acts were in a way of trying to find the best way to complete his missions. Except the fact that he set Snape up in a situation where he had to go undercover in the evil side and sacrifice like all of his morals. It was still for the best. I yeah, but he know. ruined Snape's life. Were his morals really that great? <laughs> I mean, dude was obsessed was with trying, a girl, and like that's, that's, that's what happened. Yeah. It's like couldn't get over this one freaking woman. So yeah, Dumbledore used that to his advantage. It's like, all right, we'll protect the freaking <laughs> son. Like <laughs> most most villains feel like they're heroes in their own mind. Exactly. They do things because they think they're doing the right thing. It doesn't make it right. No, it doesn't. But Dumbledore didn't force Snape. You know, Did Snape he? Manipulating someone, himself. whether they're conscious of it or not, is still manipulation. It was, it was his redemption thing, because Snape killed a lot of people during his run as a Death Eater. So this was his redemption run. He kind of threw himself out there to do it. And we're not talking about no. Snape. We're talking about Dumbledore manipulating everybody. Whether he's trying to use uh, Snape as a, you know, you a saying, person in that, he manipulated Snape. Harry Potter, Voldemort, all those people, as well as others, they in order to get his him, goals. They came to him, though, to help. He didn't, like, go to them. They came to him, and he decided to help them help everybody. Because he's the big cheese. He also killed his sister. Ooh, all right. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we all, we're just but saying that manipulation's always bad. I mean, Cause no. I don't think so. It's called uh, politics. Exactly. Yeah, but talk to the kids that are the ones that are affected by it. Like, again, this goes back to the entire Harry Potter story is a redemption story for Voldemort. And it's not because he gets he grows to be a better person. He's still shit. He's still a bad adult. He's a bad mentor. All right, so in your closing here, why is he a, a not a hero? Because at the very beginning, he saw something horrible and did nothing to do it except give it more power. And when that power said and was screaming to be something, to, to show that he is capable of something. He said, get the fuck out. He kicked Voldemort out. Voldemort wanted to be the defense against dark arts. Maybe to do be uh, worse things, who knows? But the end result was way fucking worse than what happened. Okay, and why is he not a villain, in your final he words? He has good intentions, and he set everybody up the best that he could. He I'll put them in the best situation, gave them the best education so that they could fight Voldemort. And Voldemort was defeated. Yeah. And he gave them deniability because he knew the government literally would, would, would has ways to make you talk and find out if he had subverted them. But he so created them. He made them do, he made, put everyone in the best possible situation despite so government what he interference created. he was doing. He did the best that he could with the hand uh, he was dealt. Voldemort was a bad egg well before he ever met Albus Dumbledore. He did nothing to help. I, so a lot of people didn't do a lot of things to help. You can't help all the kids. Yeah, but he is 
he is Dumbledore. It's like saying that the Christ figure so you're didn't it, you're do enough. You're putting him on a shelf. Yeah, I would love to. Like an elf on a shelf with Dumbledore? I mean, honestly, that would probably be better than what he did any other time. But Is Darth Vader Yoda's fault? No, Yoda didn't train him. Yeah, but he saw the darkness in him and didn't do anything about it. He could have done something. Obi-Wan and and Qui-Gon. Actually, the entire Jedi were pretty shit, but that's that's an entire other thing. Yeah. Nor the entire Jedi Council were pretty against it. Yoda was against uh, bringing in Vader uh, initially. They actually... That's a horse for another story. You know, democracy. But they didn't stop him. And they could have. They knew he would have done it regardless. Very fair point. So you're saying Albus did more by kicking him out of the Jedi Academy in this metaphor than, than Yoda did. If he had done nothing, no one would have found Voldemort. He, he would have just been another fucking weird-ass little kid, Mm-mm. and no Mm-mm. one would give him a shit about it. Uh-uh. Because then you're bringing... He, this is, he was killing here we go. kids. Okay, s- like hold one on. Like one or two, not millions. Hold up. This is, this oh, is bringing shit. Fantastic B straight into it of a... Kid with incredible power and someone finding him and taking advantage of it because that's exactly what would have happened. Okay, maybe, or he could have just hit him or killed him. He, yeah, I mean, Dumbledore could have killed a youngling. To be fair, a hero doesn't kill innocent, and oh, no, that's why he's a hero. Oh, he was he not was innocent. Villain, he was he not innocent. Killed him. Yeah. Time. Ooh, that was intense. Round of applause. Bravo. Yes. Bravo, teams. That, I was really listening. That was really intense. I, I'm curious from the. From, uh, I'm going to hear some thoughts from you quickly to, to, from the audience here of what they thought. But I got to say, I'm leaning a certain way based off those arguments. And the final thoughts really did help seal the deal. Uh, yeah, quick, Shannon. Quickly, I need another, another second opinion. You, you, and we can't, have Harry. you can't deny someone the gift of magic. Ta- Tom Riddle had magic. He didn't believe this person was evil, so he's like, you have magic. Here's a place where you belong, so you're not a weirdo. So then you're like, yeah, cool. Then he turned out to be a monster. That's not Dumbledore's fault. And what you're saying is just because like gun control or wand control or, or things like that, they have magic. They have the ability to do it. They're training them. They're teaching them. They can't control... They can't control that, what the kids end up. They just, it's just education and teaching and doing the best. The government was corrupt. So proper the, intentions tried his yeah, best. You are agreeing with that the, side. The, the, fact that, um, the fact that the government was corrupt and everything like that. Yeah. Not his fault. Not his fault. I got to say, I, 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 that's fair. But you guys did bring a lot of good points of sort of decisions and things he could have done that would have definitely helped change things. Exactly. But, but I think they ultimately did win the fight. Because it wasn't really his fault. Yes, a hero can make a mistake. I mean, he, did, he probably could have done some things differently, but his intentions were not to be a villain. I, I believe their take. You guys get the point. Dumbledore is a hero. Aha! Huzzah! To the pot of them. What do you guys think? Tell us in the comments below. Is Dumbledore a hero? Is he a villain? Is he kind of both? And tell us what you think. Will Jude Law change your mind? Because the crimes of Grindelwald might. Ah, see what I did there? I have his wand. I know that much. Thank you so much for watching. And bravo to these teams for playing. And thank you, nerdbrew.com. Check us out on all our events. You guys were fantastic. We will see you next week for another Nerd Wars. Bye-bye.